Hello fellow BB owners. While I was searching YouTube about BBs, I ran across this little thing that was called a BB See Me Here BB350 and it's a Bluetooth speaker. It's a, a tubular Bluetooth speaker. And I thought, yeah, I would sure like to have that because I remember back in the day when I was running a, uh, a rooster fairing and it had the little speaker set up and the little slot for your stereo and all this other stuff, plus the windscreen. And I thought, well, yeah, I'd like to have some some uh, music on my on my BB. So what I did was I found this BB350 and I'm unable to play it because I don't have any non-copyrighted music on here. But what I did... I took this little plate here off, which I'm not going to do right now, and then, then what I did was I drilled a, a hole here and a hole here, and being a machinist, which you won't be able to do, but I'll show you a solution to that, and that is to, um, <clears throat> um, I put these pins in here and I screwed this up, and these pins right here allow this to rest right here with a, with a, uh, a bungee cord. Now let me show you a few things that we can do to get this on your BB if you decide you want to do this also. Now I got the BB350, see me here, BB350 because it supports a, um, I don't have the fancy phones and, and everything and this supports a uh, SD card in it, which I would love to have one of them JVCs or whatever those expensive units are, but they will not support a, an SD card. If they did, I would buy one yesterday. So now I have my little BB350 and what I did was I went down to the store and I bought some of these little screw brass plated or brass eyelets. I'm going to see if you can see that. And they are the same uh, diameter thread as the screw that goes in here. And what I did was I, I took this plate off, I put these poles in here. Now to get to that part there, if you can't machine your own little pins to put in here, you could also take a let's say a quarter 20 cap screw I would prefer not to have a bolt because of the head here and then put a two nuts on here and a washer and then you could sandwich that in between there and it looks it looks like it would work just fine to make the same exact thing now if I also had I use this um, support system on my windshield to make it stronger that was on the uh, stock windshield and if you don't use this on your windshield, you could possibly take an eye bolt that has a 1032 thread on it because you can get a 1032 in a, what is it, an 8 millimeter or something like that? Or is it a 6 millimeter? You can get a 1032 in a 6 millimeter, but you cannot get a 6 millimeter in a 1032. And you're not going to be putting a lot of stress on this, this threaded hole with just an eye bolt holding a bungee cord on here. Now, what I did was I took this, I put my pieces in here after I took this plate out. Then I took these eye bolts and I screwed them in here. Just like this, because this pretty much holds itself in anyways without the screws. And I screw this in until it's pretty tight. And then what I did was I put a little key ring on this little device that they have for their lanyard. And I did that so that if the bungee cord fails, I put it on here like this so that if the bungee cord fails, then I probably won't lose my unit. Then I took this I bought at Ollie's. Uh, some of the smaller ones, you may have to tie them together or something like that to get them to work. But I have this around here. If you had an eye bolt coming out of the little device that support there, you could use that. And... Um, I put this on right here, run it around this support, and then lock this down. So now when I take this off, I take these this bungee cord apart and I can take this off, or I can take and put my key my ring back on here and then I just slap the bungee cords back on. Now as you'll notice, this sucker is kind of grungy. I have another one in res re reserve. This sucker has been run every weekday driving to and from work for the last two years and it's still going strong. I bought other ones that claim they have more wattage, but I'm not going to spend my money anymore because the people are lying or whatever because they suck. Um, I'm not going to get into the details of who and what, but this little BB350 
I have run this sucker every day for two years, every work day for two years on full blast. Now the windshield itself will create a little bit of a, uh, uh, an amphitheater to bring you the music. So it does, it, I don't really listen to it on the freeway, on the highway, but I do listen to it going through town. And I just thought I'd tell everybody if they wanted to put some music on here, on their BB350, this is a w one possible way to go. Thanks for watching my video.